Hey, what's up? I'm here in Moralia Farm. Um, it's our last full day here in New Zealand. And um, yeah, okay, I definitely gotta say I'm probably gonna miss it, <laughs> more than likely. It's gonna be at least a decade before I go back, um, just because of the cost of everything, but no mosquitoes. If that's not worth paying for, <laughs> I don't know what is. But the temperate, cl temperate climate, perfect. It's just like California, honestly, as far as the weather goes. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, I got to go out last night for the first time in New Zealand, um, alone, <laughs> basically alone. I mean, I'm with 50 Americans, but um, I don't know anybody. So, I mean, like I've been trying to, but they all see me as a sick guy now. So it's, it's kind of a struggle to kind of get into with that group, but it's fine. Uh, I took it as like a solo training day, you know, I uh, did a little bit of parkour in the city, uh, did a little bit of solo going out in the bars. Um, a lot of things in my head telling me like, oh, you, you shouldn't go out just because you, you don't know anyone and it's stupid. But really, um, it's really important to push past that kind of stuff. Uh, basically, like, you get a lot of, I shouldn't talk to this person, I shouldn't talk to this person, I probably shouldn't talk to this person. But at the end, also I'm trying to do it sober, just because I don't want to risk any more food poisoning and I don't know. I'm trying not to get destroyed every time I go out. Um, it's just a personal thing that I'm trying to work on right now. But, um, but yeah, I mean, I had things in my head telling me like, oh, you know what, you shouldn't go up and talk to these people. You shouldn't go and interact with these people. But as a result of me just not giving a shit and just going and doing it, uh, this nice 30-year-old married couple, super cool Aussie people, um, bought me drinks for the rest of the night and, uh, and they're going to set me up in Cairns if I ever make it up there. Um, yeah, so they're going to set me up in Cairns and that's all from just me not giving a shit and just doing what I meant to do anyway. Um, yeah, like going out alone, going out alone is definitely like its own kind of reward in that you, you push yourself to be yourself all the time, especially when you're doing it sober too. It's not like you're just getting drunk like a loser and just on your own running around and stuff. Uh, you really have to push, uh, it's, it's really like an identity forging activity, I'll, t I'll be honest with you. Like every time... I mean, I've only gone out on my own a couple times, but both times have one been productive and two have always been um, identity forging activities. Like I've definitely like a str have a stronger sense of self, and um, and yeah, trying to avoid uh, the sheep complex, as it were, pushing my boundaries, doing my own thing, being the sheep dog rather than being the sheep following everyone else around. Um, I hope this is wide enough or long enough that you guys can see that there are sheep in the background. I'll probably throw in some of the sheep footage that I had, but uh, but yeah, just a quick one. Last day in New Zealand. Uh, I'll give you guys a quick wrap up of the uh, last video blog of everything, and um, and yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Other than that, I'll see you guys later. Peace out from New Zealand, or as they say here, sweet days.